to bear with me just a second here. We get things set up and in camera view. And we will get started. Hello, hello, hello everyone. And welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short Lunch Break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time and I do Facebook Lives Wednesday nights at 6.30. Tonight we're going to be having a play with the new Saying Thanks kit that just came out. And as you can tell, I've been into it a little bit. We are going to be playing, making a play with this kit first off. And then we are going, to, I have some alternatives to show you. Now, if you've never had one of our kits before, they're all inclusive. They come with everything you need to create your kits. This kit actually happens to be a non-stamping kit. So that's kind of fun. Everything's all in here. There's no stamping. There's instructions for the kit. And this one has nine cards and coordinating envelopes. <clears throat> and it has these little gems, which are beautiful. It has some <clears throat> dimensional strips. And it has a sheet of these hearts. And some baker's twine. So I've got one of each of the cards out. So we are going to make them as per the kit instructions. Uh, it would help if I had the instructions. I put them back in the box. And then I'm going to show you some alternatives that I made using supplies that are in the kit and I added a couple of other things to it. All right, so we'll grab a bone folder and Fold our cards and score them. So they lay nice and flat. <clears throat> and I love this kit because it's all thank you. So we are going to need um, let's grab the sheet. And they come in different languages as well. So we're going to need a thanks. We're going to need a thank you. And we're going to need an I appreciate you. And we're going to need this sheet with the hearts. Now, I am going to just sit here and poke out all of these hearts, but I'm not tossing them. I'm going to put them back in the box, and I am going to use these on other cards, because, like, why throw out perfectly good hearts? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. And I'm sure that's what they intended when they left them in there to start with. I love that this has a nice shiny black border around it. <clears throat> there we go. Just poking all these little guys out. There we go. Now I'm going to put these back in the box. We use those for something else. A little bit of Oops, missed one. All right, so let's start with this card, seeing as we have 
started this out and let's look at the instructions and see what they tell us to do. I typically don't look at the instructions. Okay, they're telling us to put three strips of the long strips on the back. And six inches. And you notice that there is actually a ruler on here. You don't even need a ruler. Let's do our baker's twine while we're here. They want us, did it say six inches of ribbon? Where is it? Yep, six inches. I'm going to give it a generous six inches. So there is our twine. Alright, so on the back side of this, we are to put, oops, I got two there, the one at the top, one at the bottom, and I'm going to use two of the little ones here. Oh, it's, one's going to be enough, I'm sure. All right. So this just goes right over the top of this card front. Oops, there's another heart. So we just have to put this one. It's gonna, gonna have to get my big head in here. Just like that. And then we are going to take the I appreciate you and I need the picture on the front again. So I'm going to make it exactly as per their instructions. So this I appreciate you is going to go there. However, that piece of twine is going to go in behind that. So I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to put one end on and I'm just going to twist this back and forth like so. Actually, that's too long, too loopy, too loopy. So one, two, three, four. That's better. And we will pop that on there. And now we can embellish with these cute little squares or diamonds, whatever you want to call them, like so. So there is card one. How easy is that? Okay. So I'll set that out of the way and we will bring in card number two. And I need two more words here. Just wanted and to say. And thank you. So, this is going to go down. Actually, I'm going to pull that and cut that off and use that on here because these are going to tuck in behind this word, this reading. So if I put dimensional on there, they're not going to tuck in nice. All right. Oh, is that ever shiny? Is the camera picking that up? 
So, we will use some of these smaller dimensionals to go on the back side of this. And we're going to need some more of the white baker's twine. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these cards. I go through a lot of thank you cards. All right. So if we go that way, and then down that way, and then back up. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Sticking to my fingers. <laughs> All right, one more loop, and then we'll just cut that off. You notice I didn't measure that one. I just used what I needed. All right, so this guy. I guess I shouldn't have done it that way. I should have looked at the picture. It has to go off to the side. And I did it up and down. But that's okay. We'll fix that. That's going to go right there at the bottom. And these guys are going to tuck in the side. So that's why cut some of that off because you're not going to see it. Just wanted to say thank you. And then we have some more of these cool little, oops, purple and purple, not so good. And we get to put five of these on this time. Just wanted to say thank you. Isn't that pretty? All right, on to our next card. And this one, I need, you're the best. So, we're going to flip this over and put on some dimensionals. And I'm just going to trim these so that I'm happy with the way they're on there. There we go. Now, make sure I got this opening in the right direction. Once again, more Baker's Twine for this card. We'll see if I can put it on in the right direction this time. Alright, this is going to go this way. So, let's pull some off. I'm going to do it double from the start. So, I'm going to go this way. Down here. Just make one loop a little bit. 
longer. And we'll go up here. And again. I'll pull it so one loop is shorter. Turn off the excess. Oops. And this is going to go right there, like so. And then this one, oops, I have two again, <laughs> is going to go on the back of our grating. You're the best. How cool is that? All right, and we have three little guys to go on here. One, two, three, just like that. All right, now, let me get all this stuff put away. And I will clean up my mess here so that we can lay out these cards. <clears throat> and these are the three samples as per the instructions in our kit. So there's the instructions and there's our card. Pretty, right? Anybody would love to get these cards. I would. So, they can be just beautiful as they are, but my personal thing with card kits and paper pumpkin is that I like to challenge myself to have alternatives. So, I've taken one of each of these cards and I have done some alternatives. So this card base, this is the card that I made. Okay, I, oh, I'm missing a, I'm missing a map dot dot. Huh, hang on just a second. And I will get that taken care of. Oh, there's some that are open. I had these stored in the box, so that's probably what happened. There we go. So I just took some of the black and white gingham ribbon and I cut it in half and then I doubled it and made a bow. And I just put this thanks greeting and matted it in black to make it pop a little bit. So that's my take on that one. And then this one, I changed it up. I took um, some of the gingham paper and put in back. And instead of putting the baker's twine in behind, like on this one, what I did is I took some of the vanilla and gold ribbon and I colored it with the sweet sorbet marker so that it would match. And then I just used some of the gold squirrels. So that's my take on that one. And then there was, oops, sorry. I guess I did them backwards. I used this greeting on this card base. Anywho, this card base, I have made this card base into two cards. And these are cute. Here's my first one. What I did is I cut this card in half, like two and three quarters. And the back piece I have for the inside. And then the front piece I matted on sweet sorbet and then onto gorgeous grape. And I used the playing in the rain bunny and a little happy birthday greeting and some yellow ribbon. And then the next one I did with 
this little guy here, the turtle, and the greeting is just for you. And I just colored the ribbon with a marker so that it would, would be the granny apple green and then inside. So that is my take on those already gorgeous cards. But that just goes to show you how you can switch them up and cut them up and add things to them to give them a totally different look. So anyway, um, this card kit is available. It's a brand new kit. It is item number, if I can get everything in the box, let me turn it over. Item number 162361. And it's the same thanks card kit. And I have orders that go in every Wednesday. If you live in Canada and would like to purchase one, you can just get in contact with me. Uh, Anderson Shell at gmail.com. Thanks very much for joining me today. Bye bye. <laughs>